Hey guys, so I am here today sitting at my little meditation space um, and I'm going to film an IGTV video so you guys can see all of the stuff that I use um, on my meditation altar because I get questions about it all the time so I figured this would be a good place to keep all of the answers and um, for you guys to have as a resource if you want to check it out anytime. So, so this is the whole space and um, this is where I sit every morning to do my meditation. So I will start over here. This is the incense that I use. I have a bunch of different scents. Um, this one is lavender and rosemary and it is by Essential Home and um, you can just get this on Amazon and they have a, a bunch of really amazing smells. This journal is where I journal um, my things I'm grateful for, or on full moons, I will journal um, just about, you know, things that I am trying to manifest and intentions that I want to set and things that I want to make better in my life. Um, and then this is my Course in Miracles book. I started reading this in uh, New Year's of 2019, so January 2019, and I'm still not through it, but I read a lesson in this book every single day, and it is just a book about finding inner peace and um, you know, being okay with everything around you. And when I do a lesson, in this book along with my meditation i find that i'm so much less reactive to situations around me and i have so much more intention in what i'm doing every single day and i'm a lot more focused on the right things and i don't um let the little things get to me so this is a really really great book if you're looking to kind of change things up and find some inner peace. Um, I keep two candles on here all the time right now. I have these two um, from Diptyque um, that I really love. I have this statue that I got when I was trying to conceive West. Um, I just saw it at a crystal shop here in Las Vegas and I was in love with it. I was like, oh, this is so perfect. This is um, what I need it all it was you know just something that was meaningful when I was trying to get pregnant um, and I still keep it here because I think it has so much meaning um, these are just stones that I've collected from different candles and stuff like that along the way um, nothing that I've picked out myself but just things that have stuck with me this is a little bee charm. I actually don't even remember where I got it, but um, I've told you guys multiple times, you've probably heard me like a broken record say that bumblebees are my good luck charm. And so whenever I see them, I know I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing. And sometimes when I am looking for an answer to a question, I'll ask the universe, you know, show me the sign of a bumblebee if the answer to my question is yes. So that's that. Um, these gratitude and generosity stones were gifts um, that I got for Christmas from someone that I just thought were really cute and good to put on my meditation altar. Always good reminders to have. Um, I found this little four leaf clover good luck charm at a shop in Venice Beach that, and I just fell in love with it. So um, I thought I would get it and it has brought me so much luck. Um, this is a mala and it's made of rose quartz. And if you're saying a prayer or anything like that, um, that needs to be repeated, a mantra, you count them on, on the beads every time you say it. And one go through of the prayer or the mantra is one bead and then you move along it. Kind of like how a rosary works. Um, this little angelite, crystal ball is really great for connecting to your spirituality um, and that was honestly something that I struggled with before when I was first starting out my meditation practice so I bought this from a website called crystal cactus a while back and um, I feel like it's drawn me more to sit at my altar and be with my meditation practice so this is the dancing Ganesha and Chad got this statue for me uh, like three years ago when I first was putting my meditation altar together 
for Christmas as one of my Christmas gifts. And um, the symbolism of this is overcoming obstacles and success, um, which is so helpful for me since I was starting a business at the time and still, you know, with Wilson Gabrielle, um, I look to this thing every day for inspiration and support. And then this is the incense stick that I have. This is like one of the best gifts I've been given, the one that says, may I find balance in my life because that is something I strive for every single day. Um, I try to balance my life as a mom, um, as a business owner, as a wife, as somebody who is calm and meditates and also someone who has like physical activity, just trying to do it all and still finding balance. So um, that is one of my favorite things on my meditation altar. This is a pendulum and basically what you do with it is you hold it over your palm and I can't show you that right now since I'm filming this but you kind of just let it you'll ask it a question and then you hold it and it'll swing one way or another without you moving your hand so you guys can see right now it's moving in a counterclockwise direction a little bit and I haven't even asked it anything um, and it helps just to make decisions more clear and um, when you're struggling to find answers sometimes I use this um, for the more profound um, bigger deeper questions I have in my life when I feel a little lost um, these are all the stones that I have purchased um, along the way um, some of them have been gifts but most of them I've bought myself and I'm really drawn to three different stones I've noticed, um, or four. Angelite, which is connecting to spirituality, and that you see that here and here. And then amethyst, um, which is supposed to be a natural tranquilizer, it's supposed to get rid of any bad feelings like stress, anxiety, worry, fear, doubt, um, and help boost self-confidence. So I love amethyst for that. Plus it's my birthstone. So um, it just makes me feel really tranquil inside. Um, quartz uh, is actually oops, um, a stone that magnifies all of your intentions. It's supposed to be the most powerful of all of the stones. So quartz is really great for, if you have an intention, just really setting it and making it even more profound with the universe and sending that luck and light back to you. And then Jade, which are these two points in the back, um, is great for friendships and success, um, bringing family together, um, which I'm all about is fam family. And you know, that's something that's super, super important to me. Um, so yeah, those are the stones. And I feel like if you are trying to buy stones, one tip I would give is don't go in with an intention of buying this stone or that stone. Just see what you're drawn to in the crystal shop. That's the stone that you need the most. So that's what I know about that. Um, if we come down here, I've got just some more quartz. That one pretty one was a gift, a couple more stones that I've been gifted over the years, like another jade, um, some more quartz, um, some lapis over here, and some Palo Santo and sage. I like to burn this in my house on full moons or sometimes in my office when I'm working. Um, and then down here, I have my manifestation box. So what I do with this is something I learned from one of Gabby Bernstein's books. And it's just to write down, whether it's on a full moon or really at any time, something that you wanna manifest. So um, like back when I was trying to get pregnant, a great example was that I wanna be pregnant and have a healthy pregnancy. And the universe just sends all of those things back to me. Like I, everything that I have written and put in here and then a week later I burn it every single thing has come true 
everything. And I feel like so blessed to have learned about this from Gabby and been able to implement it into my meditation practice because it is such a cool thing because when you tell the universe exactly what you want, I swear it listens, um, especially if you're open to receiving. So that's what that is. And right now I actually don't have anything in there, but um, I just burned something last week. So um, down here we have the angel of bliss. This was a gift from my yoga teacher. She gave me this and basically said that Bliss is a word that you can't describe because if you, if someone's never felt it before, they wouldn't understand. And um, it's about being conscious with all other beings. So this is just a reminder to, you know, be aware of everyone and every other beating heart on the planet um, and that we're all one. So I keep this here for that. Um, I have three sets of inspiration cards down here and I usually will do one of them every day. Um, this one is F Affirmators um, and this was a gift from someone who knows I love these types of cards and it's just fun little affirmations um, about love and relationships. So if there's something going on with me and Chad or even someone else I'm in a relationship like my sister or business who's my business partner or my mom I'll do one of these um, these ones are my favorite these I found a couple years ago on goop and they are spirit animal cards so what you do is you shuffle the deck three times divide it into three piles with your hands um, with your left hand and choose the card that you feel is speaking to you the most. And then it comes with this really fun, inspirational message of how to better your day. So um, you can read this whole message and then feel like, if you feel like you're in balance, this is how you would feel um, trusting pure presence. And when you're out of balance, you would feel like you lack gratitude. So. It gives you something that can bring you back into balance and like pra this one says practicing prayer so when I got this card like a couple of days ago when I was doing this I sat down at my meditation altar and just said a little prayer um, for things that were up in the air and for the whole world right now during this whole COVID thing um, and yeah for my family all of that so um usually like nine times out of ten the deck knows exactly what i need and i do whatever is recommended um that day and then this one is just another one that was a little gift of um from my sister-in-law it's just a book of little spells so this one says stones of power um so it was talking about bloodstone and carnelian and I actually had two of those stones and I placed them over by my desk um, so that I could see at the bottom it says place by a workspace to give me more energy and clarity while I'm working so that's that um, so those are fun little things that you can do that will help give you an intention for the day and bring you back into balance and then this little picture over here is another gift from my yoga teacher. Um, her lucky charm is, or spirit animal, either way you want to cut it, is a hummingbird. And mine is a bee. And she found this picture one day and she had it framed for me. And um, so it's our two good luck symbols together, which I thought was really special. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little informational all about my meditation space and it inspires you to start a practice of your own because I swear the benefits are unreal like increasing your lifespan making you more productive throughout the day less reactive less anxious I just feel so much better as a person since I've started doing this in my life um, just more calm and less overwhelmed so it's something that I really hope that everyone decides to take up. And remember when you are decorating your meditation altar, make sure to find things and put things there that speak to you and that are important and valuable to you. No one can create 
your own space but you so it needs to be things that are really valuable in your life and crystals and photos and you know meditational deities that speak to you so i hope this was really helpful and i will talk to you guys soon